T4 intersection. In this example, we'll take a look at a T4 intersection scenario. Two vehicles are approaching each other at a 90 degree angle at two different speeds with a 20 meter gap. In this case, one vehicle will stop while the other vehicle will be allowed to pass, demonstrating that only one vehicle needs to come to a complete halt. One vehicle will get priority over the other based on calculations from the system. The slower vehicle, if allowed to continue, would have caused an accident within the intersection. The second vehicle is allowed to continue. The ability of the system to determine which vehicle continues to go versus which one stops is essential and enhances productivity at a mine site. The heavy vehicle is the local object, LO, and is stationary, and the light vehicle is the remote object, RO. As you can see, we get an advisory as the vehicles get closer. We are demonstrating full capabilities of L7 and L8. If the vehicles are far enough away, the operator will just get an alert, notification warnings, but not L9, as the vehicles are in a safe pass zone. We are showcasing L7, L8 alarms and notifications, but not L9 intervention, as the vehicles are far enough away. C1 curving head-on. In this case, we will look at a C1 curving head-on scenario. As you can see, there are two ADTs approaching each other on the same curve. Both the local and remote vehicles are on the same radius, and if there is no intervention, there would be a collision. As the two vehicles approach each other, the system has the ability to calculate the intended trajectory for a given turning circle, to identify the intersection point, and determine a safe stopping distance to yield a final gap of 10 meters. Mine sites are not built on a perfect straight line, but in fact have complex rough terrain with lots of curves, turns and bends. Being able to solve for those scenarios, leveraging intervention controls for curving scenario is difficult and what really differentiates the Wabtec solution by reducing nuisance alarms and enabling productive safe working environments. This gives you a feel for what diagnostics can be viewed when two vehicles are approaching on a curve. As you can see, the two vehicles are approaching on a curve and the vehicles are centering themselves within the cones. As they drive towards each other, the beams get intersected and the drivers get an alarm and intervention, leading to both vehicles stopping. Being able to stop on a curve reduces risk dramatically. This is another scenario that can cause a large amount of damage at your mine site since both vehicles are at high speed 